Today on Horseland... It was a mean trick to pull on them. You can just peddle your lies somewhere else. Alma cries wolf one too many times and puts everyone in grave danger. Oh! Welcome to Horseland, home of horses, a dog, a pig, a cat, and a mouse. Hey, Angora, isn't that your department? Oh, please. That little scrawny little thing's barely a mouthful. Afraid he can't catch it? Why, I, I once caught a dozen, no, two dozen ginormous mice, ten times that size, in an hour. Two dozen, huh? At least. Hmm. Somebody here needs to think about the importance of having a reputation for telling the truth. It was a hard enough lesson for Alma to learn. Don't you just love dressage? It's so graceful, almost like dancing. Whoa! <sighs> But it takes so much practice. Of course it does. Horses and pigs have to practice. They're clumsy creatures. Not naturally graceful like cats. But then again, who is? I suppose you could say Alma was technically competent. But that riding outfit, that color is so last season. They should dock her points for it. Great job, Alma. Yep, nice ride. I couldn't have done it without you, Button. You oh! were great. Okay, Chloe, you're up next. Come on, Chili. <laughs> Go, Chili. Chloe, you know what we're looking for. You and Chili need to move together, and any instructions you give Chili should be almost invisible. Start when you're ready. Let's show them what we can do. My sister makes you look like such an amateur. <gasps> look out, Zoe! A wasp! A wasp! Where? On you! I can't see! Get it off! Easy, Chili. Settle down. You okay, Chloe? Of course I'm all right. I... I could have handled it. If Chili hadn't shied like that, it's all his fault. <laughs> Chili was just confused with Zoe screaming and you jerking around in the saddle. You can't blame your horse, Chloe. You lost your concentration first. Well, they were screaming about a wasp! Yeah, what about that wasp anyway? I didn't see any wasp. Did anybody see a wasp except Alma? Quiet, Shep. What about it, Alma? It was there. I saw it, even if nobody else did. I had to let Zoe know. You're allergic to wasp things, right? Yeah, so you knew that was just the perfect thing to scare me. That was really mean. I would never. Hold on. This trail leads nowhere. I've seen a lot of wasps around here today. Let's give Alma the benefit of the doubt and get the horses back to the stalls. That was a great ride you had in the arena, Alma. You and Button were beautiful together. Chili and I were better, at least until Alma claimed she saw that wasp. You mean that dismount wasn't part of the routine? <laughs> I thought he was the best part, and I did too see that wasp. 
You may ride an okay program, but with that electric swamp green color you wear, you'll scare the judges out of giving you a score. <laughs> electric swamp green? At least I don't have swamp rats in my stall. Rats? Ew, did she say rats? Where? <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough horseplay. Let's get the horses in their stalls and go get some lunch. <laughs> rats? Alma, that was way too mean. Especially since Horseland's nowhere near a swamp. And that's what made it so funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't think Alma had it in her to trick Chloe and Zoe like that. I just hope Alma hasn't started something that will get out of control. Of all the fun things about owning a horse, this is not one of them. Gotta be done. If the stalls aren't kept clean, the horses can get really sick. Somebody should tell that to Chloe and Zoe. They haven't even started yet. They're probably afraid they'll ruin their manicures. Chloe said something about losing a bracelet. She and Zoe are looking for it out in the practice ring. Let's get this muck out. Hmm, what's this? No wonder they want it back. And I'll make sure they get it back, eventually. It's got to be around here somewhere. I'll never forgive myself if I've lost that bracelet. Hola, amigas. What are you doing? Like you care. But if you must know, we're looking for my bracelet. It means a lot to me. I got it when I went to the Junior Nationals. Huh? In the audience. But my father bought me a bracelet anyway. I should have guessed. You know, I thought I saw something shiny in Chili's stall. Of course. I took it off in the stall to put it somewhere safe. I completely forgot I did that. Come on, Zoe. All for the greater good, girls. I don't see it anywhere. Well, how are we supposed to find anything in all this straw? Here, try these. Thanks. This makes it a lot easier. After you search through it, you can put the straw in here. Maybe it was over there. No, maybe over there. the cleanest stall I ever saw. But we still didn't find my bracelet. Do you mean this? Huh? You had it all along. I hope you're happy now. Yeah, and I think Chili is too. Just look how clean his stall is. You should really be thanking me. <laughs> oh, brother. That was me. What's gotten into Alma? Let's get out of here. <laughs> What? What did I do? Yeah, what's the big deal? Alma made up a story and tricked them. And once you get a reputation for not telling the truth, nobody knows when to believe you. Can you believe Chloe and Zoe are still mad about that bracelet? It was a mean trick to pull on them. After all the nasty stuff they've been saying, they had it coming. But that bracelet is really important to Chloe. It makes you look bad when you sink to their level, Alma. I'm the one who found it and gave it back to her. But you could have given it back earlier. By the time Chloe and Zoe finished cleaning the stall, they thought the bracelet was gone for good. Yeah, but they cleaned the stall. Doesn't matter. They still felt bad about something when they didn't have to. That just wasn't very nice. Doesn't matter how nasty they are. We expect better of you.
maybe I did go a little bit too far getting back at Chloe and Zoe. <laughs> from now on, there's nothing but the truth from Alma Rodriguez, no matter what Chloe and Zoe do. <laughs> this looks like a good place for lunch. Wait, isn't that Poison Ivy? What? Where? Poison Ivy? Hey, this wouldn't be another one of your tricks, would it? I hope you're not starting to play them on us now. It's not Poison Ivy. It's sometimes mistaken for it by those who don't know better. But this particular plant is harmless. Honest, it looks just like what I saw in a book. I was sure it was poison ivy. Uh-huh, sure. It was an honest mistake, but fine, don't believe me. I'll just go eat lunch by myself. Even when I tell the truth, Nobody believes me. What's that? No way! Right, the girl who cried wolf. Please. You can just peddle your lies somewhere else. But I really saw one. What do you think, Will? There haven't been any wolves in these parts in years. What's wrong with the horses? They were okay until... Until Alma ran up and scared them. But I really... We don't have time for any more tricks, Alma. We need to get back to horse land. <laughs> Why won't anybody believe me? <laughs> Sorry to get you out of bed so early, Button, but I have to prove that I was telling the truth about seeing a wolf. A lobo must have left tracks by the stream. If I can get a picture of them, it'll prove he was there. <laughs> Don't worry. He'll be long gone by now. She's going to go looking for the wolf? What, is she crazy? <laughs> Humans. There's got to be some sign of that wolf around here somewhere. <laughs> what is it, girl? Can you smell that El Lobo was here? This will prove I wasn't making things up. be safe up here. All the books I've read say wolves can't climb trees. You must be very hungry. Sorry, but that's a camera, not a sandwich. 
I wonder where Alma and Button are. I spotted some fresh track leading out toward the mountains. Could have been Buttons. You don't suppose she's gone out looking for that wolf, do you? Please, Sarah. You're not falling for that old trick, are you? Alma's probably just ashamed to show her face after all the lies she's been telling. It's Button! Whoa, now! Easy, girl. Easy. Easy, Button. It's okay. Where's Alma? There she goes, talking to the horses again. What is it, girl? Is Alma all right? Did she find the wolf? <laughs> Maybe Alma's wolf is real. Something sure spooked Button. We've got to go find Alma. She may be hurt. <coughs> I told you, Senor Lobo, I don't have any sandwiches. Go back up on the mountain and hunt for yourself. Go on. Andale, andale. You aren't going anywhere, are you, Lobo? Alma! What is it, Shep? That's either a really big dog... Or Alma was telling the truth about seeing a wolf. Yup. Alma probably went to where she saw the wolf yesterday. Then let's ride. Why don't you go away? <sighs> Wish I had something for you. But you'll have to find your own lunch. Now, Andale, get out of here! <laughs> oh, no, Lobo! No, no, go away! I'm not your lunch! <sighs> what is it now, Lobo? Huh? doing up there? You might not believe me, but I was treated by a wolf. <sighs> Boy, am I glad to see you guys. Did you see something run into the forest when we rode up? Yeah, but don't ask me what it was. Button! You're safe! <laughs> I was so worried about you, girl. You see, I told you that it was a wolf. Well, there was something. We still don't know for sure what it was. Could have been a stray German Shepherd, a big one, or maybe a really big coyote. Guess we'll never know. Es verdad, it's true. Why won't anybody believe me? You can't blame us for not believing you. You made up so many things lately, we didn't know what to believe. You're right, it is my fault. I shouldn't have ever started making stuff up just to get even with you. But you made fun of my outfit. But you didn't have to make us clean those stalls. My nails look awful. Maybe we could give Alma a little help with her presentation. Zoe, I'm not helping the competition. <laughs> if only I knew what happened to my camera, I could prove. Ahem. <sighs> oh, I'll find it someday. Right now, I need to get to the dining hall. <laughs> I'm as hungry as a wolf. You believe that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> that? Listen. That's no coyote. It's no German Shepherd either. Told ya. Now can we get out of here before it gets dark? You, you bet. bet. So you see, if you get a reputation for making things up, then nobody knows when to believe you, even when you are telling the truth. So what are you implying? Two dozen ginormous mice in one hour? <laughs>
Anything you'd like to change in that story, Angora? Well, maybe it wasn't exactly two dozen. And maybe they weren't exactly ginormous. And maybe I didn't exactly manage to catch them. But other than that, everything happened exactly the way you said it did. Cat's honor. See you next time.